Hey, remember Donald Trump, that non-interventionist? Whoops, just kidding. Trump vetoes the Yemen War Powers Resolution, making it his second veto since taking office. President Donald Trump issued the second veto of his presidency Tuesday, that was yesterday as of the recording of this, stopping a congressional resolution that would have sought to end U.S. involvement in the Saudi-led war in Yemen. This resolution is an unnecessary, dangerous attempt to weaken my constitutional authorities, endangering the lives of American citizens and brave service members both today and in the future, Trump wrote to the Senate on Tuesday. Trump added, the resolution is unnecessary, in part because there are no United States military personnel in Yemen commanding, participating in, or accompanying military forces of the Saudi-led coalition uh, against the uh, Houthis in hostels or affecting Yemen. They were just supplying them weapons and stuff and, and, and guiding things. Remember when Trump said he was a non-interventionist? Remember that one? Remember that one? Which, by the way, uh, when I... I brought up before um, on a stream how... Uh, somebody told me they were considering um, where where somebody was talking about Cory Booker and how they were they were interested in him because he's vegan. And I brought up how you you can't just support a candidate because of that one issue. Like you can't just oh so and so's a vegan. I'm I'm going to support them now. It's like you shouldn't do that. You should you should look at the real issues why they do or don't support them and use that to read into them. You know, which is why I say when someone doesn't support Medicare for all, it's usually a big tell of who they are. But you just can't. And somebody, uh, you know, there was somebody in the uh, in the comment thread that could not resist their uh, their moment to have a, uh, a a what about is a moment, and they said, well, Ron, that's not true. If I support Tulsi Gabbard because she's a non-interventionist, that's enough. Actually, no, it's not. No, it's not. Tulsi Gabbard is is good on the issues. She is. But again, in this hypothetical that I presented. We're under the assumption you knew nothing else about Tulsi Gabbard except that she was a non-interventionist. That's the only thing you knew about her, and you just said, I'm supporting her. By that logic, you know who else you would have supported? Donald Trump. You also would have voted for Donald Trump, because Donald Trump said he was a non-interventionist. And look at what he's doing. He used his second veto to veto something to end the atrocities in Yemen. That's what he used his second veto power for. Does that sound like a non-interventionist to you? The bill passed the House 247 to 176. 16 Republicans voted yes with the Democrats. One voted present. In the Senate, the vote was 54 to 46 with seven Republicans voting with Democrats. So that means that even amidst elected officials, we're tired of the economy of war. That means amidst the people, we're tired of the economy of war. Trump said he was a non-interventionist. Just like everything else he promised on the campaign trail, it was a lie. It was a lie. We called him presidential when he bombed Syria. Now he's using his second veto. The veto a resolution. A resolution we were all excited about. To start to end the atrocities in Yemen. And it got through the House. It got through the Senate. It has bipartisan support. Some Republicans are on board with it. Trump vetoed it. If he was anything close to a non-interventionist, he wouldn't have vetoed that. He would have said, well, I campaigned on ending the wars. This has bipartisan support. I'm going to do the will of the people and, uh, and my colleagues. That's what he would have done. But the people who have his ear right now are the people who love endless war. And Trump goes to whoever bends his ear. So there you go. And if, if we would have spent the last you know, two years and change talking about how Trump has uh, fallen back on literally all of his promises and did not deliver what he said he was going to deliver and is not an interventionist at all. If we would have spent the past two years and change, and when I say we, I mean the corporate media, had the, spent two, had the past two years and change been spent talking about that, highlighting every for instance on that, uh, the opposition to Trump would be in much better shape. I can't even say the Democrats because a lot of them aren't in opposition to Trump. A lot of them are just in opposition to progressives. But the opposition to Trump would be in a lot better shape. But, you know, instead, you know what they talked about nonstop for two years and change. All right. Non-interventionists. That's funny. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron, don't you wanna know what's going on? We're getting our news on today, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go 
both do it together and make it our own. Get your